Well, hello, YouTubers. There's been uh, questions as to where I've been, and uh, a lot of people aren't familiar with the uh, coastal area of British Columbia. So I figured I would discuss where I went and show you on the map where exactly I traveled. Essentially, I did a great coastal tour, um, a circle tour. Uh, it's the only one you can do in British Columbia where you have to go up through the interior and then down the coast by ferry. Uh, it requires an expensive ferry, but, or you can do it the opposite direction too if you like. But um, it's the only uh, great circle tour you could do on the coastal area of British Columbia. It's about 2,500 kilometers, and I did it in about 12 days. Never driving about more than 600 kilometers a day, so I, I was in no great rush at all. So first of all, I did start my trip in the lower mainland of Vancouver in Langley, and I went up to Logan Lake, which, uh, for my hardcore followers, um, you guys know that's going to be my future home base at some point. I love Logan Lake. And from Logan Lake, I did go to Prince George. That's kind of the central hub of uh, north-central British Columbia, and I met up with some colleagues there. And from there, I went to um, Hyder, Alaska. I did do a stopover in Smithers and um, spent the weekend up in Hyder. Uh, definitely worth the side trip up to Hyder, Alaska. It's very uh, interesting, lots of wildlife. Um, kind of a unique little uh, place. From Hyder, I went, of course, to Prince Rupert and uh, awaited the ferry to take me back to Port Hardy and down to Vancouver Island. And uh, from Vancouver Island, uh, I made the, the, the jaunt down to Nanaimo. And rather than just going back to the Vancouver area, I went up to Alice Lake, north of Squamish. And from there, of course, I, I did go home. But a total trip, uh, 12 days, like I said, 2,500 kilometers, very easily done over two weeks with uh, never more than seven hours of driving in any given day at the most. I don't really like to drive more than six hours a day at my age. I, I could do more, but why do it if you're not in a rush? You can see more, stop when you feel like it, and enjoy supernatural British Columbia. In the meantime, folks, stay safe, keep your wheels on the ground, and I'll talk to you soon on my next trip going up to the Yukon. Bye-bye.